Hey, you guys know I like to talk about stuff I love here on this channel, and I love a good photo mode in a game. I feel like it's something that people really sleep on, and I feel like it's one of the cooler things to come with modern gaming, one of the coolest features, and I really wonder how many people really take advantage of them. So I kind of wanted to dive into just photo modes themselves because I really got to thinking about this uh, when I was playing Gran Turismo 7. I had to make a before you buy video uh, for game ranks, and while the game is not perfect, it's got some microtransactions, and stuff that, you know, it's not really the point of this video. I really got sucked into the game's photo mode. Now, Gran Turismo 7 features both like a traditional photo mode that you can access uh, from when you're watching a race replay, uh, but you can also do this cool photo mode called Scapes. Now, this has been in previous Gran Turismo games, but I really got hooked on it here. And essentially what it is, is you're placing a real-time video game rendered version of your car over a high resolution, like real photograph of a real location and then the game uh, projects that style of lighting onto the vehicle. Then with that, you can move things around, you can add details, and then you have all the typical photo mode settings, like it's an actual real camera with aperture, exposure, rolls, stuff like that. And when I put out the shots on social media, I put it on my Instagram, instagram.com slash Baldino, always be plugging. <laughs> um, it, it really, people were like, wait, is that real? So like, yes, it's, it's kind of not real because the backgrounds are technically real photographs, uh, but still, it was very much for me, st still the power of video game photography if you will, video game industry, and it was really addictive to just make this cool stuff. Photo modes have really been kicking ass in the last couple of years. I think specifically on console, a lot more console games has, have gotten it as a regular feature. You know, for a while, we kind of just saw it in PlayStation games specifically, uh, then more multi-platform games started doing their own spin on it, and it's, it's a great win. It's also on PC, you know, depending on the software you have, and it just makes for like absolutely brilliant imagery like so I, I'm highlighting some of my favorites here on screen uh, like dot pone uh, he does great stuff for a, a good variety of games also Birdu with two U's and Fire Scorpio, who goes by The Fire Scorpio or El Fire Scorpio. Uh, he's also an artist and he, he just does great video game imagery, but his screenshots kick ass. So I'm gonna link all of this stuff I talk about in the description down below. They're worth following, they're, they're worth looking at their images. Uh, they regularly post cool shots. And I think, honestly, the magic of photo mode is really the fact that it requires a good eye. It requires a little creativity and a little skill. Now, where I really like the Gran Turismo escapes mode because it kind of let me just plop my car into a cool setting. Uh, just a regular good old fashioned pause it, access photo mode, style photo mode, calls for you to have a good eye and make something look good and cool. And that is easier said than done. And I, I think it's very interesting. Like, so for me personally, I am terrible with cameras. You know how some people, you know, a smartphone camera or a DSLR, they just have it they'll point it at something and it'll be a fantastic photo. I don't have that. I, I don't have that skill. I don't have that natural knack. Uh, and then when you give me the greatest tools, like a sick ass DSLR or, you know, the latest and greatest smartphone or whatever with all the, all the image processing, I, I still can't take that great of a photograph. It's something that you just have or you don't have. And it seems like that's almost the same for photo modes and games. People have that knack or they don't. I try my best and I have so much fun with these modes, but I am nothing compared to the people that I consider literal artists making this stuff, taking these screenshots, framing these things proper ways, adjusting the colors, color bounce and color correcting these things in, in wild ways. The styles, the vignettes they do are out of this world. And they're great for all kinds of games. One of my favorites, of course, I may have talked about this. I love it in Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales. It's just a nice implementation and I can't help but take pictures of Spider-Man. Call me Peter Parker, call me Peter Three. Um, I actually, more than anything, I loved putting on like the Raimi costume and then going to certain locations in the city and trying to like recreate moments uh, from my favorite Spider-Man movies. But anyway, I'm just like a weirdo. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy game, uh, which I, I haven't talked about enough. I freaking love that game. That had a great photo mode. Forza Horizon has a killer photo mode. Ghost of Tsushima, it goes on and on. There, there's so many. And in a lot of ways, it's almost like, a good marketing move for the for the gaming company side. It's like it's like the best free advertising they can have. Now it's not free. It does take probably quite a bit of work 
to, you know, put a photo mode feature into games, especially the detailed ones uh, with being able to change your characters, your details, uh, the actual camera style controls, all that stuff definitely takes resources. Uh, but what I think it creates is just people sharing amazing images online of a game. I've actually found myself not excited about certain games until I see user created screenshots and it, it changes things up for me. And in a lot of ways, it almost feels like now more than ever, I'm actually starting to miss the photo mode when it's not there. I'm also super obsessed with Elden Ring. That game, you know, for its graphics in certain ways, just kind of being okay, its art direction and everything is really stunning and over the top. And there's so many moments where I wanted to really try and snap a photo in a photo mode. You can't. The best you can do is just screenshot it with the, you know, your typical console tools. And I'm sure it's like a complicated, like uh, Dark Souls style games cannot have photo mode because X reason and sure, whatever, uh, but I, I just personally would have liked that. I, I really like highlighting my cool character, the beautiful and scary and weird, gross environments. These photo modes, I think, really make a difference, and I think they go ab above and beyond your average screenshot because they are kind of like the real game. Granted, when you access a photo mode, it usually turns every graphical setting up to the highest it can for that certain situation, but Still, some of the images that can come out from these games and whether people take them, like some of the artists I really like, whether they take them and they alter them and they tweak them in Photoshop or, or Lightroom or whatever, or that's just the raw image. Uh, some of them are, just belong, I don't know, in a, in a book or something. It's crazy. It's funny, like try and think about it this way. If you're at least somewhat near my age, can you imagine having photo mode as a kid? You know that game you had that you were obsessed with and you played for like, a year straight, maybe if you were like me, you didn't have like a ton of money and one game had to last you so long. Could you imagine having a photo mode to make your own screenshots? Even though it was different then, there was not really as much internet. It's not like you could share them with your friends, but could you just imagine being able to take photos in games? Like really? I know some old games had cameras, but not like photo mode features. If the original Metal Gear Solid or even Metal Gear Solid 2, if that had a photo mode like we have now, I would have shit my entire ass. It really just is perfect for games that you kind of become obsessed with. And I think if anything, I've actually used it as like an indicator where if I find myself taking a lot of screenshots of a game, I'm like, oh, I think I, I, think I really like this game. Then, I mean, then there's the other people. I don't know what you call these people. Gameplay maestros, gift masters, that's what I've been calling them. So I wanna, I wanna call out two people specifically. I'll link them in the description below. Uh, these folks go beyond the photo mode and they go full moving image with short video clips uh, or gifts that are highly stylized, usually HUDless, and highlight just how incredible video games can be from a deeper level, how a combat system can work, how animations can tie together, how a dodge can go into a parry, can go into a jump, how a player animation or, or, or a, a enemy animation, how they die. Uh, absolutely stunning. So I have here both Much, I think that's how you say his name, and also Soon He Legend. Uh, these folks just in create incredible video clips. Uh, they've done it for so many different styles of games, from you know every big Sony game to first person shooters to most recently Elden Ring. I've been enjoying the, a lot of them just showcasing flawless execution of bosses in a stylized manner that is just like so incredibly impressive. And if you watch a clip that they make and you've played that game, you can tell how much time it takes to make something like that, you, that you just can't help but be blown away. I don't really have like a definitive conclusion for this video or any mission statement I wanted to make, but I, I have talked about it a little bit on, on the Game Ranks Friday news show. Uh, when people really love a game, uh, like when people really love a game, uh, possibilities can be really endless. If there's some skill set involved, people can make and do incredible things. You see it in the mod scene, uh, you see it in speedrunning scenes, but I think right up there, screenshot artists should absolutely be celebrated. The photo mode screenshot video game community is, is a hell of a big one, and I've barely even been able to scratch the surface in the limited time of this video, uh, but I just implore you to kind of get down with it, check them out. Follow them on Instagram or Twitter, go look for your own. There's gonna be somebody out there capturing cool images for your favorite genre of games or what have you. And I just think photo mode itself as a feature is, is one of the best things from modern gaming. There's so many bad things, of course, microtransactions, some bad games as a service style games, whatever anybody wants to complain about that day, totally valid. But 
There are so many good features. Of course, we have cross-platform play, cross-platform progression, cloud saves, just games that load faster, games that just play better, and photo mode. And it's awesome. But thank you guys for letting me riff. I just kind of wanted to like take a break from like reviewing games and like talking about games and movies and stuff and talk about something cool and different. So uh, if you like what I do here with the occasional weird topic, let me know. Definitely let me know and definitely let me know what your favorite photo mode is. If you have somebody like a, like a photo mode creator, a screenshot artist out there that you would like to highlight, definitely give them a shout in the comments. We wanna hear from them. But thank you for listening to me ramble and talk about this stuff. I very much appreciate it. I'm Jake Baldino. Thank you guys for being here. Subscribe because video games, pizza's all me.